Welcome, everybody, and good morning to you. Amen. Welcome to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all of you that are watching or our videos or uh, listening to audio. We want to welcome all of you. Amen. So welcome, everybody. And uh, one thing we ask you to do is to prepare yourselves to receive. You know, we always need to be ready for what God has for us. Amen. And the attitude should be an attitude of gratitude. The yes, attitude amen. should be God wants to use you. Yeah. Amen. Not uh, be uh, just holding back because I'm not good enough. No. We've been told that so, so many times, you know. He's called you. Remember, you have a calling on you. And we're yes. going to talk about that a little more in a few minutes. But... We want to welcome all of you, all of you that are uh, joining us by audio and video. So uh -huh. prepare yourselves to receive. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Isn't it amazing to know and to think, <laughs> or to think and know, that He's got something for you? Amen. Amen. Just think about this. We're going to be talking about giving thanks. Mm. The Bible says, "For God so loved the world, He gave." Yes. yes. <laughs> Amen. He gave, if he gave, guess what? It's okay for us to give. Uh -huh. Some of us need to let go yeah. and loosen up. You know, he wants us, he wants his church, his body, to be able to give. And where to give the good news, the gospel, to our lost world. Mm -hmm. Amen. And guess what? It's in you. So you got to get it in you yeah, so it can come out. Yeah. If, it's, if you get it in you, you still got to release it. And when his word is released, it accomplishes what it sets out to do. Amen. So nothing is impossible for him. The only thing, only only thing impossible is when we're thinking negative and uh -huh. saying, "Well, <laughs> I can't do it." No, you can't do it. He can. Yeah. All we need to do is speak this word. Amen. His word is yeah. live. Amen. So, giving thanks with a grateful heart. I wish you could have joined us uh, for our praise and worship. It was beautiful. We sang up some beautiful songs and by giving thanks unto Him, you know, yeah. lift them up. At all times. Last week we talked about let God arise and his enemies uh -huh. be scattered. I don't know about you, but uh, I have some enemies. <laughs> uh -huh. If you have some enemies, you know it's time to let God arise and let his enemies yeah. be scattered. Yeah. He yeah. says also, submit yourself to God, uh -huh. resist the devil, and uh -huh. he will flee. Yeah. You know, uh, some of us need to wake up uh -huh. and know that we have a call to know that we are anointed, to know yeah. that uh, greater is he that sent us than he that is in the world. Amen. The, and and we, have, we have authority. And when you speak God, the word of God, that's authority. Because he says, submit yourself to God, resist the devil, and he will flee. Amen. He knows whose you are and who you are in yeah. him, in Christ. And when you speak that way, uh -huh. uh, giants flee. Amen. Enemies flee. Amen. Amen. So prepare yourselves to receive. You know, if whatever, if you're joining us by audio or video, when, when you apply the word, you know, God will perform his word. Yes. Amen. And uh, I think uh, last week we talked a little bit about don't be so critical in finding mistakes uh -huh. and miss the message God has for you. You know, just come empty and let God fill you. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. And praise God. Amen. Well, give thanks with a grateful heart. I wrote myself a whole lot of notes around here. <laughs> uh -huh. The true meaning of the true meaning of uh, uh, giving thanks is Jesus. Mm. Amen. Write that down if you don't know that. But the true meaning of uh, of giving thanks is John three sixteen mm. it says, "For God so loved the world that He gave." His only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. I don't know about you, but I want everlasting life with Amen. Him. <laughs> yeah. I want to go up and not down. <laughs> yeah. You decide. You know, don't let nobody else decide for you. That's right. You yeah. decide if you're going to go with Him and spend time with Him or go down. So, don't put it in somebody else's hands. You know for a fact that you are a child of God. Amen. And anyway, some of the things, uh, some of the songs we sang, <laughs> I will bless thee, O Lord, yeah. with the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless thee, O Lord. And we're going to do some scriptures here in a few minutes. But this is great. Another song was, give thanks. With what? With a grateful, with heart. A grateful heart. And this is something that we can all do. 
this is something that you can do. Amen. We just got to, last week we talked about uh, get all these uh, traditions out of the way. Get yeah. all these mindsets out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. And let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Yeah. Believers should be giving thanks on a daily basis. Well, you know what? Grab your Bibles. Uh -huh. <laughs> and let's open them. The first Thessalonians. Five eight. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. <laughs> Thank you for your reminder. <laughs> Grab your Bibles anyway. You got your Bibles in your hands. Amen. <laughs> Look at the screen up here. Those of you who are joining us by video. If you don't have a Bible, get one. Uh -huh. Amen. Because we start off with this is my Bible. Yes. Amen. And you know what? You take that Bible and you get it in you. Yeah. And now the Bible is in you. The gospel is in you. Amen. That's tremendous. When you have the word in you and you yeah. speak it out. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. So if you don't have one, get one. And one that you can write and highlight and personalize. <laughs> Since this is my Bible, I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Man, that's tremendous. Amen. That is tremendous. Praise God. Thank you. <laughs> but grab your Bibles anyway. You got them in your hands. We already went over a couple of scriptures. But go to 1 Thessalonians. We don't visit too many of these uh, scriptures. Thessalonians. Where's Thessalonians? Yeah, it's, it's, it's right, right before uh, Second right before, right before Thessalonians. Right before Second Thessalonians. Right after Colossians. Colossians. Yeah. I'm getting there. Don't bleep your eye when you go by Colossians. <laughs> okay. First Thessalonians and uh, chapter five. Amen. Oh my God, I've got lots of highlights here. But look at verse eighteen. What does it say? In everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. And you can take that you off and just put your name there. Oh man, praise God. In everything, give thanks. Thank you, Father. On a daily basis, I know we celebrate Thanksgiving once a year, and we don't need to treat God that way because He is a full-time God, right. not a part-time God. Because every time you call on Him, He's ready for you. And we should be ready for Him also. It's called relationship. We have relationship. Amen? So that's what we need, relationship. Amen. So praise God. Believe you give thanks to Him daily. With an attitude of gratitude. Yes. Thank you, Father. Yes. If you don't know what else to say, just say thank you. Yes. Amen. What he's done. Yes, For God so loved the world. Yes. He gave. He gave. Amen. Ooh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Believers are also called to be grateful and thankful people. Attitude of gratitude changes depression to joy. Yes. You mean you want you, you want things to change in you? Start confessing the word. Start having a relationship with it. And things are going to change. <laughs> you know, uh, Oh, I've shared this so many times. I asked the Lord, help me with my enemies or my friends. And uh, he said, I started losing friends. My enemies, I said, help me with my enemies. And I started losing friends. But mm -hmm. you know what? If he takes friends from you, if he takes people from you, it's okay. He's going to put new people yes. that are going to help you fulfill Amen. your destiny Amen. in what he's called you to do. Yes. Amen. And these are people that are going to come and line up. Amen. Yes. And whatever God has called you to do, yes. they're going to help you. They're going to be there. They're going to bless you. They're going to pray for you. Amen. Uh -huh. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Praise God. Being grateful or uh, attitude of gratitude. Gratitude is being grateful, uh -huh. being thankful, being appreciative. Mm -hmm. Amen. Giving thanks to God. Another scripture. Yeah. Go to Psalms. You know, Psalms is a book of Ooh. Psalms. It's beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful book. Amen. Yes. Psalms 107.1. Hallelujah. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Yeah, oh, man. Let it rub off on you. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> we should be both. I'm, I'm not going to get too uh, ahead of myself. But Psalms 107 and uh, verse, verse 1. 
says what? Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is what? Good, for his mercy endureth forever. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. You can put your name there. I will give thanks unto the Lord. Amen. Oh, man. Praise God. Amen. Amen. And let's go. Let's go up a little ways to 118.24. I'm not going to tell you what it is. You should know by now. Psalms 118.24. Let me see if, if your Bible says what my Bible says. Okay. Psalms 118.24 says, For this is the day the Lord hath made. It says we or I. And you put scratch that and put your name on there. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Okay? And yes, we've talked about this quite a bit. But God gives us a new day. And you, you know what? Be thankful that He woke you up. You got a wake up call. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you know, you open your eyes. That's your first miracle. Yes, amen. Amen. And praise God. Anyway, He says, Rejoice and be glad in it. He didn't say be sad in it. He says be glad in it. Thank you, Lord. Another day to be grateful. Another day to thank you. Another day to serve you. Amen. Amen. Another day to be with you. And another day to reach your people. Amen. And give of yourself. You know, when you give, give as if you're doing it unto Him. Amen. So, hallelujah. It says, but you don't understand, Pastor. <laughs> it's raining outside. Uh, you know, I can't go anywhere, so I'm going to be upset. <laughs> well, you know what? The Apostle Paul <laughs> could have been sad because he was in prison for most of his life. Yes. But he wasn't sad about it. He wrote and spent yeah. time in the Word and spent time yeah. with the Lord. And we can do the same thing. So it's raining outside, so what? It's going to spoil your day. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Spend time with Him. Spend time praying. There's a lot of a lot of things that need prayer right now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> well, Amen. I'll, I'll touch it in a few minutes here. So this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Regardless of what circumstances are. Regardless of what the weather is. Amen. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Man, we can camp out right there. <laughs> Coronavirus. Forget it. You know, praise God. God is bigger. Yes. Now. Just back up a little ways. Psalms 92. <laughs> what do we come here for? Study the Word, right? <laughs> Read from the Word. The Word of God. Not mine. From Him. Psalms 92, 1 and 2. Says what? It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name, O Most High. To show forth thy loving kindness when? In the morning. In the morning. And thy faithfulness every night. Every night. Mm -hmm. Man, you know what? Just ask the Lord to help you. <laughs> Give you an attitude <laughs> of thanksgiving <laughs> to want to spend time with Him in the Word. You know, some people say, well, God never spends any time with me. Yeah. When was the last time He you opened your mind? Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. He wants to come in, but we're not letting Him in. Dust your Bible off, open it up, and read it. You know, just because you open it don't mean it's good enough. Right, right. <laughs> you got to get these words yeah. in here, in you. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you get it in you, he says, out of your innermost being shall flow yeah. rivers right. of living right. water. Yeah. Man, his word is alive. Mm -hmm. So be careful how you use it. Yes. Amen. He says, life and death are in the power of the tongue. Amen. So be careful. Amen. Yeah. Speak positive and not negative. Mm -hmm. If you're speaking negative, just don't do it anymore. Right. Don't even let it, it says right. put a card on your lip. Yeah. On you know, on your tongue, on the words you speak. There's power in the tongue. Death yeah. and life are in the power of the tongue. Right. Death and life are in the power of your words. Yes. So words are powerful. Mm -hmm. So child of God, be careful. Yeah. So it is a good thing. To give thanks unto the Lord. And to sing praises unto thy name. Mm -hmm. O most high. Yes. Exciting. Yes, I'm, I, I'm excited. I don't know about you. Yeah. <laughs> give thanks and praise him. For he has blessed us so abundantly. He says in John 10.10. 10, says the enemy though a thief comes. Yeah. <laughs> ex uh, except to steal. Yeah. And let's go there. Yeah. 
and destroy. I know. Let's go read it. Oh gosh. It's much better to go use the word. I didn't come listen. We're not here to be entertained. We're here to be lifted up. We're here to be reinforced. Amen. So you're warriors. Not yeah. warriors, okay? <laughs> John 10.10 10. Says what? The thief. The thief. Amen. The thief cometh but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I've come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Amen. So God's not your problem. That's it. The enemy. Or you can call him Satan, or you can call him devil, or you can call him uh, uh, Diablo. <laughs> and he's not one of these little cartoon characters, you know, hot stuff, you know, with uh, <laughs> in red and with horns and a pitchfork and, 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 a, and, a, and a long tail on him. Right, right. You know, it could be family, it could be a friend, it could be an enemy. So be careful. Okay. <laughs> the thief. Let me see. Yes. Uh, Amplify says, The thief comes only in order to steal and to kill and destroy. I come that you might have that you might have and enjoy life yes. and have it abundantly to the full till it overflows. Yes. Amen. That's what the Amplify says. Uh-huh. Enjoy life. Are you enjoying life? If you're not enjoying life, we gotta make a change. There's yeah. nothing wrong with God. Yeah. We need to change. Right. Yeah. We need to get our gps working <laughs> we need to get our bible our yes. life gps working yes. and line up with the word of god yes. Yes. <laughs> amen and we should be cheerful people yes. happy people yes. we should be the happiest people on the earth we're talking about believers okay <laughs> uh -huh. so he says enjoy life and have it abundantly to full to the full till it overflows yes <laughs> you know just like the word says to yeah. overflow. Yeah. And out of the overflow, you be let, you bless people. Yeah. And you give to people. Amen. Yeah. From that overflow. So you know what? Don't never allow yourself to go empty. Right. Amen. Don't allow yourself to be empty. Yeah. You know, your cup's empty. <laughs> your car's empty. Your truck's empty. Why? Because you allowed it. Yeah. So don't allow yourself to be spiritually That's right. empty. empty. Amen. Yeah. Don't let your... Uh, spiritual batteries run low uh -huh. or run out. Amen. But stay full. That's it. To overflow. You know, you're a child of God and, and you're going out. You're, you're, you're a mighty warrior for God. And how are you going to preach the word and give the word if uh -huh. you empty? That's it. You don't want to be an empty warrior. That's it. Amen. You want to be full yes. and ready. <laughs> Battle ready. Yes. You know, if you're not full of the word, you ain't battle ready. Because you ain't no match to the enemy. The enemy is full time. Yes, we need is. to be full time. Yeah. Amen. Ooh, come on now. Amen. I'll put you better than amen at me now. <laughs> Philippians 4 6 says what? Be careful for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, with uh -huh. thanksgiving. Yes. Ooh, yes. Thank you. Let your requests be made known to God. Uh -huh. Be careful for nothing, but in everything yes. by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God. Amen. Who can help you? He can help you. Amen. Amen. But with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Don't just go and knock say, Lord, it's me again. <laughs> I want, I need. Oh. <laughs> you know, and we just dump on him and then run off. Yeah. No, with thanksgiving. Yes. You know, you give him thanksgiving first. Yes. Say, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Praise God. I know I can come to you. And you know what? We we have an open door. We can go in. <laughs> yes. Amen. We're his children. He says he's our heavenly father, but we're his children. Yes. So open your Bibles once again. We're going to Psalms. And we read this so many times, you should know my heart by now. <laughs> Psalms. Yeah, it's called Psalms 100. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That's all right. <laughs> it says what? <clears throat> Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Joyful. When we're talking about joyful, being uh -huh. thankful people, being happy people. Amen. Yeah. This is good for us. Yeah. Amen. People see you coming and you're joyful. People yeah. see you coming and you're happy. Yeah. 
and it's contagious. Yeah. It's going to affect them. Yeah. Or whatever they are against, you know, it's just going to put them on a, uh -huh. you know, what's wrong with that person? <laughs> and number two says what? Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, gladness, yeah. <clears throat> Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. singing. Amen. Ooh. Come on now. And verse 3 says, Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Yeah. So we enter into his gates with thanksgiving. thanksgiving and into his courts with prayers. Praise. Be thankful unto him Amen. and bless his name. For the Lord is good. good. His mercy is everlasting Amen. and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. Just leave it there because a few minutes we're going to visit 103. <laughs> so praise yeah. God. Believers should be rejoicing. Yeah. Be glad, uh -huh. giving thanks daily. Yeah. Come on now. When you call yourself a Christian and you're empty, <laughs> you call yourself a Christian and you're the saddest one around. Uh. Shouldn't be that way. Something's wrong. <laughs> it ain't on his part, it's on our part. Yeah. Amen. So we need to get the right attitude. Yes. We need to get an attitude yes. of gratitude. We need yeah. to get an attitude of giving thanks yes. to him. Amen. We need to get an attitude of having a relationship with him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Yeah. Believers should be the happiest people, most joyful people on earth. Amen. I mean, if you don't have that written down anywhere, mm. write it down somewhere. Yes. Yeah. We yeah. should be believers. Should be the happiest people uh -huh. on earth. Happiest and most joyful people on earth. Why? Because you know what? You can pick up this Bible and look at it and say, "I know the beginning from the end." In the end, we win. Are you going to be included in the we win? Uh -huh. Or are you going to be excluded? No. We win. If we're going to win, <laughs> then you're part of it. Yes. Amen. We're the body of Christ. Yes, we are. Body. All kinds of people together serving yes. one God. Thank you, Lord. And you know, whatever you, whatever he's called you to be, yes. be the best you can be. Amen. He called you, anointed yes. you. And equipped you. Amen. Amen. So it's time to get rid of whatever you try to do. Yeah. Or whatever you put yourself to do. Uh -huh. And find out what God has for you. Amen. Amen. And get busy for him. Yes. <laughs> Serving yeah. with gladness. <laughs> Praise God. Well, I closed Amen. it already. Thank you, Lord. Believers are too blessed to be stressed. All right. Amen. Yeah. We're too blessed to be stressed. That's it. Or ungrateful. Oh man! <laughs> Come on, you go to God and see if you're gonna win uh, <laughs> argument. Whatever. Right, yeah. Why am I not getting? Mm -hmm. Well, also remember it's His timing. Yes. But you gotta line up with the Word of God. Yes, you do. Amen. You gotta line up with with the Word of God. So we're too blessed to be stressed. Write that down. Mm -hmm. We're too blessed to be stressed. Are you stressful? <laughs> Are you lonely? He's with you. He says He never leaves you, nor forsakes you. Yes. He's always with you. You know how we know? Spend time with Him. Yeah. Have a relationship. And now you know, God is always with me. God is always there to protect me. Yeah. Now we can go to 103. Amen. Amen. 103. Psalms 103. That's the Old Testament. Yeah. <laughs> Still good. One, only 1 through 5. Thank you, Lord. The well, benefits of the Lord, that's how mine starts. Yes. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all his benefits. benefits. Yes. Verse 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases. Yeah. Do you understand what all means? Uh -huh. Diseases. That includes oh. coronavirus. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Or anything yeah. you want to put on there. Or whatever you may be going through. Yeah. Or whatever the enemy may, may, may be trying to put on you. Mm -hmm. yes. Say, wait a minute. I'm not, this body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I'm not allowing sickness in my body. That's it. So sickness, I cancel your assignment against mm -hmm. me. I command you to leave in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. Body, line up with the Word of God and be yeah. healed. I receive my healing right now yeah. in Jesus' name. Glory. Amen. Glory. Come on now. Yeah. I don't know if you've said this before, but uh, if you've said it, it's time to stop. Mm. God put sickness on me to teach me something. No, no. I have family members tell me that all the time. Mm. 
God put sickness on me to uh, teach me something. Well, if he put it on Jesus, why should he put it on you? That's right. Jesus was sacrificed for all these things, put stripes yeah. on his back. He says, by Jesus' stripes, I am healed. Mm -hmm. well, maybe that wasn't good enough. Yeah. But it was. Yes, it so was. we just need to line up and confess wow. what the word of God says. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. Ooh, hallelujah. Where are we? Oh, Four. okay. Let me reread uh, three. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Uh -huh. Who healeth all thy diseases? Number four says, Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Yes. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies? Five yes. says, um, Who satisfy thy mouth with good things? So yes. it, thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Amen. Let's go one more. It says, The Lord uh, executeth, executeth. Ex executes righteousness and judgment for all <laughs> that are oppressed. Execute. Execute. That's how I said it. Okay? <laughs> Execute. Yes. Uh, right, righteous and judgment for all that are oppressed. Amen. Oppressed. I mean, I got the whole thing highlighted. Yes. But you know, just go and read the whole thing. Amen. It's, got, it's got 22 uh, verses on it. Yes. It is awesome. Yes, it is. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But it says, Bless the Lord. Yeah, and the, um, the Amplified, Bless affectionately, gratefully praise the Lord, O oh, my soul, and all. That is deepest within me. Bless his holy name. Ooh, and it just goes on. Bless. Uh, the verse 2 says. Bless affectionately. Gratefully praise the Lord on my soul. And forget not one of all his benefits. Uh -huh. Man. You know it's, it's okay sometimes. You know to have a, an amplifier. Just to yeah. go a little deeper. You know. Find out yeah. what, it, what it says. That's right. but it, it is awesome. Yeah. Man. Thank you, Jesus. I am forever grateful. Why give thanks? <laughs> Why give thanks? Well, for one thing, He forgives all our sins. Yes, yes. Amen. And if you're still uh, holding back mm. because <laughs> of sin that you're still thinking about, I want you to know this. When you confess your sins to Him, He forgets them and yes. forgets them. Yes. So yes. we need to do the same thing. Amen. If you confess to Him, not to a man, not to a yes. person, but if you confess to Him, He's going to hear, and He's going to forgive and forget. So you need to do the same thing. Otherwise, the enemy himself or you somebody to yes. come back and say, He didn't hear you. Mm. He didn't forgive you. And you still feel bad. You still feel dirty. You still feel like He never forgave you. Uh -huh. This is a lie. Yeah. Because as soon as you confessed it, He forgave you yeah. and forgot it. So yeah. we need to do the same thing. I said, you know what? I don't live there anymore. Mm -hmm. In Corinthians it says, you're a new creature in Christ. The yes. old is gone, the new is in. Amen. So you need to think that way too. Yes. You got to press on with the new thing God has for you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Again, <coughs> excuse me. He healeth all thy diseases. Yes, he does. So it ain't nothing new happening right now that God forgot about. Amen. He forgives all diseases. Whatever disease you want to put on there, He forgives all diseases, sickness, illness, whatever you want to call it. He heals all. All means all. He didn't forget anything. So if somebody's preaching at you and telling you a new thing God is doing, go somewhere else. <laughs> because He covers all. The that word of God covers God. all, means all. No. It's right here. We don't need anything else. Mm -hmm. Amen? It's yeah. in the Bible. Book of yeah. instruction before yeah. you and her. Amen? <laughs> <laughs> Gives us his love and kindness and the mercy. We're talking about love and compassion. Yes. Yes. If you want to be a child of God, mm -hmm. know that the love and compassion of God is flowing through you. Yes. Don't just feel sorry for people. Right. Let the love and compassion of God yes. flow through you. Yes. Amen. I'm going to pray for you. Uh -huh. Amen. Or if you're there, give them something, you know. Yeah. Whatever they need. Praise God. Say, God told me to give you this. Mm -hmm. God told me to give you this word. God told me to give you whatever. Yes. But God is, loves you. Yes, he does. Amen. When you do that and you show the love and compassion of God, people are going to be touched. Things are going to change. Yes. Amen. Give us plenty Amen. of good things. <laughs> Here's another one. A few minutes ago, I told you you're too blessed to be stressed. Oh. But right now, 
<laughs> you're best. You're you're blessed by the best. Yeah. Amen. You're blessed you by hey, the best. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Ooh, hallelujah. <laughs> he wants to bless you. Well, you know, so and so is getting more. So and God loves so and so more because they're always doing it. Well, you know what? Check your word walk. Check your words. Check your actions, mm -hmm. and see what I'm doing because the problem is here, and yeah. you shouldn't be jealous anyway. That's it. Amen. That's Praise God. You don't know right. what they went oh, through. Man. Amen. You don't know how God's dealing with them. Just pray. That's I'm it. so happy, Lord. Bless them. Uh -huh. Amen. I'm so happy. I need to get my yes. relationship right with Him. Yes. Amen. He renews all health and strength. Youth is renewed. That's yes. what you keep talking about. You know, your youth is yeah. renewed like the eagle. Amen. Amen. And we're going to fly instead of just digging down. Amen. People are so good about just pushing people down instead of picking people up. Yes. The Bible said, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Yes. Amen. He wants his people to rise up. Yes. Lift Jesus yes. higher. Well, lift him up. Lift his people. Amen. Mm -hmm. More reasons for being grateful and thankful. Give thanks for his presence in our lives. Yes. People <laughs> desert us when we need them. The <laughs> Lord is always with us at all times in all situations. Yes. The Lord has never led us or forsook us. He says he'll never leave us nor forsake That's us. It. Amen. He was there with Jesus. <laughs> he was there uh, with Paul, with Moses, Abraham. I mean, all these Bible heroes you read about were not perfect, but God used them. Yes, he did. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect, but guess what? Mm -hmm. I'm going to serve Him, and Amen. I'm going to do yes. for Him. Amen? Amen. Praise God. He, if He can use them, He can use you. Yes. So include yourself. You're part of this body. You're part of the body of Christ. Yes. And he wants to use you. So allow yourself. Here's the thing is make yourself available. Yes. Lord, here I am. Use me. Mm -hmm. Well, praise God. And you know, don't compare or compete. Complete one another. Mm -hmm. Whether it be small or big, mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this under you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Might be something small. Well, that's not big enough because you know people ain't gonna notice. Mm -hmm. But sometimes you might be by yourself. Mm -hmm. And doing it unto him. <laughs> Come clean the church. Mm -hmm. Help somebody. You might be in your car doing something. Get out of somebody's way. It, still, God's going to bless you. Yes. Amen. So give thanks in it for his presence in your life. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Hebrews uh, 13, uh, 5 and 6. You can write that down. It says, let your conduct be without covetousness. Be, uh, be content with such things as you have. For he himself said, he himself said, I will never leave you nor Amen. forsake you. And Amen. verse 6 says, so we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me. Yeah. We need to have this in mind all the time. We need to have this in heart all the time. And know what can man, God is my helper. I yes. will not fear. And what can man do to me? Yeah. Praise God. Paul says, you know, hey, even if they take me on, guess what? I can be with God right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but guess what? He's not finished with you yet. That's it. Don't take yourself out too early. That's it. <laughs> Until he calls you home. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Because, hey, even if, if I if I leave now, if they do something to me, guess what? My present I'll be present with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So, praise God. That was a freebie. <laughs> Second uh, Timothy uh, 1 and 7 says what For God has not given us a spirit of fear But a power of love And of a sound mind Let's look that one up Let me see what Amplified has to say about this First Timothy Second Timothy Is right after First Timothy yes. <laughs> 1 and 7 for God has not given us, given us, us. You can take that us and just put me and just yeah. put your name right there. Yeah. For God has not given you the spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Hmm. Come on now. That's it. Um, 
and the Amplified it says, For God has not given us a spirit of timidity, of cowardice, or um, craving of cringing and flowing fear. Mm. But he has uh, given us a spirit of power, of love, and of calm and well-balanced mind, yes. and discipline, and self-control. Oh. Man, see? We just got a little more about that, you know? Yes. He's not giving us a spirit of fear. But Good. man, you go just go a little deeper with that. Yeah. Psalm twenty three says, uh, "His presence is always with us, and He is the Lord. He is our shepherd." Yeah. Man, let's read Psalms twenty three. You gotta read this at least once <laughs> once a day. Amen. Amen. Awesome scripture. Awesome. This is about the shepherd. Verse one says, "The Lord is my shepherd." shepherd. I shall not want. <laughs> if he's your shepherd, he, he says he he provides all your needs. Uh -huh. Amen. He provides all your needs. Yes, he does. So praise God. And verse two says, He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still water. And verse three, He restoreth my soul. Uh -huh. He leadeth me in the path of righteousness for His name's sake. Verse four, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for Thou art with me. Thy rod and Thy staff they comfort me. Amen. Amen. You know, wherever you happen to go, it doesn't matter. He said, He is with me. Yeah. Wherever I go. Amen. That's Praise right. God. He is, remember the song, the song says, He's God on the mountain. Mm -hmm. But He's also God in the valleys. Yes. <laughs> so, praise God. He's still God. Yes, He is. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, Jonah. <laughs> he was God when he was up on the boat. And he was God when he was in the belly of the whale. Amen. So mm -hmm. he is God. You, you're up on high or down low. It doesn't yes. matter. It's still God. Amen. And verse 5 says, He prepares the table before me in the presence of my enemies. Uh -huh. Thou anointest my head with gold and uh, with um, oil. Well, my cup runneth over. over. Mm -hmm. Then we go again. My cup runneth over. Are you going to let your cup run over? Mm -hmm. Don't just go halfway. Yeah. <laughs> Don't just go right to the rim, the brim. <laughs> go over. Let it go over. You know what? Because the word of God is going to be a blessing to somebody mm -hmm. even when it's overflowing. Yes. Amen. And he made us to be overcomers. Yes. Flowing. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Oh, my cup runneth over. It says my. Mm -hmm. You can put I or you can put your name there. Yes. My cup runs yes. over. Amen. I don't know about yours, but mine is always going to be running over. <laughs> Amen. Man. And verse 6 says, or cup runneth over, meaning all the time, continually. Let me see. <laughs> uh, verse uh, 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me oh. all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Oh, forever. Amen. Forever. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Man, Praise that is awesome. Uh, Psalms 91 talking about safety and abiding in the presence yeah. of God. We're not going to read all that, but something you should read on a daily basis also. Psalms 91. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. This is yeah. this is awesome. Exodus 33 and 14 says, The Lord replied, My presence will go with you uh -huh. and I will give you rest. Let's go there, Exodus. Just go back some. All the way back. Huh? All the way back. Back, 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 back. Psalms 33, uh, Exodus 33. And you know, we read these scriptures and I want you to highlight them. I want you to mark them. Write them down as you take notes, you know. Amen. And go back and review them again. You know, we need to study giving thanks on a daily basis. Mm. Amen. And we need to give uh, thanks on a daily basis. Yeah. I've got mine highlighted. I don't know about you. But... Exodus 33 and verse 14 says, He said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me see. Yeah. Amen. So know that he is always with you. Mm -hmm. He don't leave you. You know, you've read the the footprints in the sand. Mm -hmm. But we always think, you know, on a daily basis, God left me. <laughs> Yeah. But he says no. He says when you saw the one yeah. footprint, that was my footprint carrying you. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. Amen. And in closing, yeah. <laughs> we're not finished yet, but uh, we'll uh, we'll continue with that one.
Amen. So he's always there. He's a God of giving. Yes. He gives uh, protection. He wants to uh, thank his people. He wants to give thanks for, for the mission he has given us. Yes. Amen. Give thanks. And just give thanks unto him. Amen. Yes. And in closing, yes. I just want to remind you, give him thanks with a grateful heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give him thanks with an attitude of gratitude. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. On a daily basis. We can't say it enough. Yes. And remember that Jesus is the true meaning of giving thanks is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. He is the reason for the season mm -hmm. of Thanksgiving. Amen. Jesus is yeah. the reason for, 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 for daily living. Yes. Thank you, Father. <laughs> giving thanks should be daily yes. and not yearly. Right. Giving yeah. thanks. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Listen to this. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Psalm 100 oh, yeah. is a Thanksgiving of excitement. Yeah. Is a thing is a psalm of uh, serving. Yeah. Coming before him, getting to know God, Amen. entering his gates. Yeah. It's about sacrifice. Yeah. It's about being blessed. Yes. Psalm one hundred is full of action words. Yes. Amen. <laughs> it's full of action words. Uh -huh. Listen 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 to this. Yeah. With a shout. So if you ain't never shouted before, it's okay to shout. Amen. You know, you go, you go to a ball game, you go to a bar, <laughs> and you go anywhere, anywhere, and people shout at you, yes. and they have no problem shouting. Oh no! And we go to church, or we get together <laughs> in, 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 a, in a Christian service, and everybody's so quiet. Mm. Say, man, we can hear a mouse. <laughs> God. Used a donkey before, and a donkey talk. Yes. Uh, yes. Well, we're more precious than that. <laughs> Amen. Uh -huh. But giving thanks is excitement. Yes, it is. And these action words about shouting, uh -huh. about serving. Yeah. You know, we so want to serve when we're, we're amongst people, and yeah. people are watching you uh -huh. and say, "Man, this is a good time to show myself." By serving him, I'm doing it under him mm -hmm. and not for myself. Amen. About coming, about knowing, about entering, about giving, and about blessing. Uh -huh. Amen. Where some of us need to learn a little more about giving. <laughs> some of us love to take, <laughs> but we don't give. All right. Come on, don't throw nothing at Pastor now. We need to give of ourselves. Yes. Amen. Instead of just wanting to take, take, Amen. take. Thank you, it says give and it shall be given unto Thank you. you. Amen. Give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. All these words are calling us to do something. Yes. Be thankful. Not just with word with words, but also uh -huh. in action. Yeah. So watch your words and your actions. Amen. Amen. Give thanks is a matter of involvement. Uh -huh. You being involved. Yeah. We've, we've said this many times. Be a participator, not uh -huh. a spectator. Right. And a lot of times we just want to spectate because we want to, you know, find the mistake. Yeah. Find the problem. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. Well, God didn't put us to be judged. That's right. He's the only judge. Yeah. We don't sit high enough to judge. Amen. All right now. Thank you. <laughs> he wants us to be involved. Yeah. Lord, I'm doing this under you. God called us to be actively involved in giving thanks to him. Amen. Giving thanks is daily. Giving thanks when all things are, uh, <clears throat> not just when things are right, not just when I feel like it, but in every day is giving thanks. Church, give him thanks daily and often. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank you. Father, we thank you for your precious word. Pray Amen. that it just goes in us, Father God, and in, in, in that and touches us, Father, to be involved in giving you thanks, to be involved, Father God, in what you've called us to do. Yes. Thank you, Father. I give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. <clears throat> I don't know about you, but if this is your first time, asking him, coming before him and saying, you know, it's time for me to receive him as Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Never asked him to come and be your Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. You feel lonely? You feel like you nobody? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the enemy for you. Yes. Because he wants to be with you. Amen. 
So maybe it's time, now it's time, now it's the right time for you to just say, Father, I've sinned against you. Come into my life, be my Lord and Savior. Yes. Amen. Make a change yes. for yourself. Know for you, know, know that if anything's happened or when uh -huh. he calls you or whatever happens, you yeah. know that you're going to be in heaven with him yes. for eternity. Amen. Yes. So just receive it. Amen. If you've said that, we know that you uh, accepted Christ. Amen. Yes. And make him your Lord and Savior. Start studying his word. Start yes. growing in his word. Yes. And start growing and going for Jesus. Amen. Yes. Praise God. If you have sickness, we talked about this a few minutes ago, but if you have sickness in your body, as a believer, the Bible says that your your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Your body is a temple of God. Amen. So I'm not allowing my body to have yes. no sickness in it. Amen. So sickness has to go. Yes, By Jesus stripes, you are healed. Whatever doctors say, whatever report, who's yeah. reporting, you're going to believe. Are you going to uh -huh. believe the report of what the Word of God says, the report uh -huh. of God? Or are you going to believe what the doctor said or whatever anyone is saying? Mm -hmm. I'm believing that by Jesus Christ, I am here. Yes, yes. Amen. So yes. just confess the right things. Yes. Confess the word and not the problem. Mm -hmm. Magnify your God and not the problem. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Magnify yes. God and not your sickness. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Father. By yes. Jesus Christ, whoever's listening with the sound of my voice, Father, they touch, Father God, that they are healed by Jesus yes. Christ, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Whatever you're going through, whatever the situations you're having, trials, problems, doesn't matter. He will set you free. Yes. Amen. And he says, whatever anxieties is, cast it on him because he cares for you. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Father, we give you all the praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. So it's time to give. Yes. <laughs> if you're watching or listening, uh, you look at the screen up here, and that's our website. And it says, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, amen? And it's got a donate button on there. Just hit it, hit it. If you, or if you're mailing it to us, NBC PO Box 252, uh, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Again, we want to say, God bless you, and we love, God loves you, and we love you. Amen. amen. Praise God. Amen. amen. amen.